Hello my pinky pals. Today I have a quick little video for you uh, where I am I'm going through some designs for some fall stickers I am looking to do. They will be in my shop. These will be actual physical stickers at some point depending on you know whether or not I like any of them. I'm just doing a quick kind of look to see what kind of works and what doesn't. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going with any of them or all of them. Who knows? So at this point, you know, if you like what you see, let me know in the comment section below because uh, that will help me decide whether or not they are um, something I should print. And yeah, so today they're all like fall little puns and I already have them sketched out ready and they're just super cute like beleaf it so sweet i think they're really cute and some of them are a little bit like affirmational some of them are just cute <laughs> so that's just kind of the way it is uh they're all fall themed and yeah but also sorry i just jumped right in there uh welcome to my channel everybody my name is pinky and uh yeah if you've been here before welcome back if you're new welcome I hope you enjoy the video I am just kind of I'm giving it some ideas I'm really loving the background lately I've been doing a lot of sharing like characters on like just a simple background and I don't know it's just kind of nicer than just a white background or a colored background it just gives it like little a little something something so I've been really uh, big on those. Of course, these will all be on my Instagram. So if there is one that you really like and you want to kind of see how it develops because it may change over time, I don't know. Uh, let me know. Let me uh, let me know in the comments or feel free to follow my Instagram. The, the link is below as well. I think this one's one of my favorites. I can't even remember them all at this point. But it's definitely one of my favorites. I came up with a few designs. It, it was... You know, once you got into the whole leaf thing, it was easy to come up with ideas. After that, it got a little bit tougher, and one of them's not really a pun. I tried to stick with puns because I just think that they're cute and funny, but one of them is not a pun. However, it's still cute. It's still like, I don't know. I really wanted to draw a ladybug, and I don't know why, but for me, like a ladybug kind of just feels fall to me. I don't know why, because it's not. I think it's very much so a like spring bug where I am, but it just kind of gives me fall vibes. So I wanted to draw the little ladybug and I did. It's very derpy though, so I don't know if that's something that I would be keeping. Same with the cat, and I actually think that the cat, I might make it a darker gray, kind of like a black cat, um, or at least give it some kind of detail. I'm not quite sure. Essentially, these are just kind of mock ideas and whichever one Whichever one I think came out the best, I'll then finalize. So this is really like where I go when I first start thinking of ideas. I kind of pick a theme and go from there. And then I post them on my Instagram and see if anybody likes them. <laughs> so I thought instead of doing that, why not do a video and take a look and, you know, enjoy the cute little fall puns, but also see this is, you know, a little bit of my my sticker planning uh, for those who are looking to do really any kind of product. I think this is probably a good idea. I don't really know because I'm just starting out with my, my shop. But I my idea is essentially I will create the design, share it with my followers, and then the designs that get the biggest reactions and that may not always be like a good reaction but the biggest reaction depending will be the one that I turn into a product obviously I can't make all of them a lot of the times I do have to pick and choose which one I'm going to be doing and I need to make sure that my shop is going to be you know viable so I have to be choosy especially in the beginning about what I choose what I choose to put in there I'm be choosy about what I choose you know um, so yeah and that's what we're doing here is we're just throwing out essentially every idea that I've got and then once that's done I will share it with my followers and just like I'm doing now and see what you guys think. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. It really does help me. It, it'll help my business. It, it will help, you know, just in general. And the better my business is, the more I can focus on things like 
you know, my passion projects, like my YouTube channel, and I can maybe devote some more time to it and, you know, just make it better in general because I just, I don't know, I love it and I would love to have time to really, you know, put into what I want to do. Like I have some bigger projects that I, I would love to do, but just really aren't feasible and things like that. So, you know, that's the plan. That's the goal. I want to make sure that kind of stuff happens and that's where I'm at. So yeah, this ladybug is derpy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I gave it a scarf and I'm like, stay cozy. I just want an excuse to do a ladybug and I didn't know what else to do. So this is what I did. And I, I don't know. I'm not sure about the color palettes. I think I might have to kind of go in and maybe revamp them and play with that a little bit more, but we'll see. I also don't generate, like I don't use black. So I used brown instead. And now I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should have used black. Uh, here I just, I thought I'd change the color. I didn't. So then it was a pain in the butt. So I just was like, whatever, I'll just alpha lock that one. That'll be fine. And I went from there. So I don't know if the brown works or if I should do black. Same with the cat. Like I said, I don't tend to use black on anything, so it's kind of hard to do it. I've been really into lineless lately, so I'm also like not sure if lineless is the way to go or if I should have maybe done lines. I don't know. You know, it's these kind of things. And then so I'll play with the design. The ones that I like the most, those will be the ones that I experiment with. So, or the ones that you guys like the most as well. So unless, you know, I know what you guys like. I it just may not make it. It might not make it into the into the shop. That's just the way it goes. Um, so and then I don't know at that point what what I want to put in. But yeah. So this is kind of like first thought, I guess. Is well, not even first. This is more like second because I kind of idea dump in my sketchbook and then I kind of like this would be the basic first revision design you know what I mean so that this is where it's kind of at and I don't know if that would be if that's useful to anyone I know there's like lots of people who have dreams of starting their own sticker shop or just prep products in general so maybe that insight helps like I do not sh tell people or, or show people or coach people on how to start an art business so please don't go by me I will you know maybe in future I'll let you know how it's going and we you know if if my strategy fails me I will let you know and you know maybe then you can learn from my mistakes and I think that's a great way of kind of tackling things if you don't or if you uh you know if I if I do well then then I will let you know as well, but I'm not in the business of coaching. I just wanted to kind of share my process a little bit with you guys. And it's, it's one where I, I recently kind of decided to do more so because of the reality of like, well, I can't put every sticker up on the shop as much as I would like to. I just, you know, it just is not feasible. So that's kind of like, it was like a reality check to me where it was like, okay, look, you can't do it. You can't have it all. Sorry. You're an adult now. It's time you learn. Though. It's time you learn. You can't have it all. And yeah, so that's that. I do like the fungi one. I think that one's really cute. Some of these I struggle with the colors, like the blue and the orange look good together. But at the same time, I don't really like the font. And then, yeah. So... I don't know. I might have to change the background of that. Or, I mean, really, when I do a sticker, I don't know that it would even include the background. So, there's that as well. I have to take that into consideration. I put the background in more so because I know I'll be sharing it on social media. So, I may not, you know, I may not have it. It's hard to say. But yeah. So, hopefully you guys are having an amazing Sunday. We had a really good stream yesterday. I actually finished a project on stream, which was fun. I normally start it and we never finish. Uh, so it was fun to, you know, celebrate the, the 2000 follower kind of goal that we hit. 
and thank you for that of course and it was nice to just kind of sit relax and draw and I think I was I legit was kind of out of it I think for some of it like I think I would go I went into concentration mode so hard that I almost forgot what I was doing like it was actually probably a bad time to be streaming I guess because I was really really into what I was drawing and then it would like suck me in if that makes sense so I mean it was nice it was a nice kind of change so you know I can't complain about that but at the same time I was like halfway through I'd be like oh yeah I'm supposed to be uh, I'm supposed to be talking and stuff and I was like sitting there with my tongue hanging out while I drew this is why I do like voiceovers because while I'm drawing I tend to like laser focus into it which is why on streams I tend to like to do like interactive things like that that require some kind of effort from me and then I get responses and things like that because otherwise it's like I I just want to draw or I just want to you know and I actually really was looking forward to coloring her I just thought she was really pretty and I really liked how it turned out for the most part the hands are always you know me and hands they're always rough but for the most part I thought it turned out really good and I thought the even the hands I thought the hands were not that bad could have been worse you know so and that's that this one also is not really very like folly but I saw I saw like pies and then um what was it I was looking at pies, pumpkin pies, because I thought a pumpkin pie is, this is, I would say it's probably maybe more of an apple. And then I saw a t-shirt that said pies before guys, and I was just like, oh my god, yes, that's so cute. I love it. Um, this one is definitely not making the cut. I, I don't know, I was trying to like, I, I looked up weather, like the kind of weather that you have, and I couldn't think of anything for windy and I couldn't think of anything for rainy and then it turned into drop it and then it turned into I don't know I just don't like it at the end of the day this one's not making the cut I don't like it I didn't like how it turned out and I won't be using it <laughs> I know that one unless everybody is like that drop is my life I love it I won't be using that one and even if you guys do um I still might not be using it so sorry not sorry uh, I love this one too. I think this one's really cute. I just wonder about the black. I think I might have to change the cat to like a black cat. And I think that could be really cute. And maybe instead of the like eyes being really dark, maybe I do like love some lights inside of them. I don't know. That could be creepy. But definitely I think we need a darker cat. I did a gray cat. I didn't even do like a tabby or anything. I didn't really know what to to put on him so I just left him as a little gray cat and I thought he was really cute but at the end of the day I'm just like this is kind of basic like it's kind of a, he's a kind of basic kitty and I didn't really want to do anything else with him and the other thing is it's a very cool gray so then on top of the cool gray with the blue background it looks blue and I don't like that either so I do like this design I think this is cute I love the like uh, bottom um, little thing there but I don't think I like the cat I don't really like the pumpkin either but I don't really like the cat so I don't know maybe I can come up with a different a different like I don't know maybe he could be in a boot or something anyway I, I do like the design. I just don't think it's quite there yet. And then a lot of them, yeah, like I said, once you got, once I got on leaf, it was kind of like be leaf, leaf, leave me alone, leave it, life it, love it. <laughs> like I just live, laugh, leaf. Um, actually, that was funny. I could have done that one. Um, <laughs> but yeah. It, it got to the point where I was just like, hmm, there's a lot here, and I had to pick the ones that I liked the most, or at least the ones I wanted to see further developed, and then go from there. So I do still have some in my sketchbook, but that's it. Of course, you're welcome to follow along with them. I don't, you know, like, I don't mind if you want to copy 
the um, the puns or even the I mean go for it even the design once you copy it it's really yours so it is what it is as long as you don't trace please don't do that but yeah like it's um, you know if you like it feel free I think it turned out I think a lot of them turned out really cute so I do I do like them and yeah I'm kind of really excited for fall I hope you guys are too let me know in the comment section what's your favorite part of boat fall and why you're excited for it or maybe tell me why you don't want fall I love Halloween Halloween is my my jam you know so that's why I love it and that's why I'm excited for it otherwise for me I don't really have like a specific holiday or like season that I really love I love all of them a little bit um, I love all of them a little bit I love them all equal is what I meant to say and you know it is what it is but um, everything has like they all have something special like spring I love like the fresh flowers growing and things like that and like everything coming back to life and then summer I love the heat and then fall I love the vibes and then winter is my birthday so have to love that right um, <laughs> so I'm, I guess at the end of the day I'm just not picky and yeah I think that this one's really cute too this one is almost more of a Halloween a few of them were like even the falling for you that's probably not Halloween um, Valentine's Day so I might save those designs for then who knows I don't know um, but I thought this one was really cute too I love the two little acorns I don't generally do like I, it's been a long time actually since I've drawn any kind of like couples thing so it's cute to see those little those little ones are cute and yeah so what else is going on this week I can't really remember we are doing every you know it's the same as always we have a challenge going on in our Facebook group and on our discord right now that is like kind of a create your own character and what else we do tutorials on Tuesdays on Instagram and well on Facebook sorry and discord there it's also my blog it's on my patreon I have a free patreon so um, yet yeah, yesterday we did a draw with me or a color with me I guess and that design that coloring page is on my uh, patreon so you're welcome to grab it there this is pretty much the end for me guys um, before I go though I do just want to thank all of my patreon members you are all amazing and I really appreciate the support that you guys give me and other than that I will see you guys in the next video bye